Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to The Dig for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off. We've managed to find another one of these strange devices. This one's a little bit broken. Um, so we've opened up the panel on the side. And we're going to, well, try to figure out how we can get all of these things lit up. So I think what we've got to do is get each of the coloured beams to go to the corresponding gem or crystal, whatever it is. So the red beam to go to the red one, the blue beam to go to the blue one, and the green beam to go to the green one. Um, but also have all of these five white ones lit up as well. Um, so it's going to involve a bit of trial and error, I think, using, well, all of these to try and figure out what we've got to do. Um, so, can we get it so the beams are on the right thing here? Yes, okay. So does that mean that this is now in the right place? Because orange is on orange, blue is on blue, green is on green, possibly. Uh right okay so this one potentially not in the right place i don't actually know if this is how this works but we're gonna okay you can rotate these as well but they don't actually seem to do anything uh right okay so do any of these potentially go to the right place yeah maybe ish maybe ish so orange is going to the right place uh all right let's leave that one for now then let's try going to this one right orange is in the right place already green hmm, it's a little more tricky than i thought it was going to be all right okay so orange is now on the right bit uh so can we divert, yeah, we can divert green like that. We can divert orange like that. Where's blue? Right, so blue's, hmm, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. I feel like that's nearly there. What happens if we, right, okay, that seems right to me. So that one's right and that one seems right. But perhaps these ones are wrong. Yeah, so... Hmm. Okay. So is it this one that's wrong? Can that... That can go there. Uh, can this deflect green up there yes but then this needs to deflect blue there we go for someone who never took a class in alien physics right there we go that wasn't too bad so is that fixed now another broken light right so it's in the right the wrong position then isn't it it's the lens if at first you don't succeed Right, let's try again. That didn't actually take as long as I thought it was going to. It's not too bad. No. Another broken light bridge. Okay. If at first you don't succeed. <clears throat> so is that gonna work now? Yeah, it's making a different sound. There we go. Nice, so our fourth one is powered up. Excellent. So we've got four out of the five now. Um, before we go through, there was something else I wanted to do in here. I mean, we can use that as a way of getting across to the other places. But I just wanted to try the other coloured rods on here. Or the combinations of the coloured rods, I should say. Because we did purple and green, but we haven't done red and orange. So let's just see what happens if we do red and orange. So we've got two diamonds in blue. I mean, this might do nothing. It might have been the point of the puzzle was just to do what we just did there. And it was only really the uh, green rod that we needed to use on that. But So that's the orange. Is that 
that's the hexagon, isn't it? The orange hexagon and the green... I mean, I don't know which one it is. It's either the green blobby one or the green hexagon. Okay, there we go. What's that? So there is more to that crypt than I first thought. Ah. So it was something to do with the crypt. So if we go through here, does this is it is this like a teleport system? No. Is there another door? Maybe there's another... Ah, oh, there is! I see! So it wasn't anything to do with what we did here. That that way was always there. We came from here. I got confused and thought we came from there. Okay. Right, so that did something. It showed us something in that area. Um, let's do orange then. Orange diamond, orange blob thing. Okay, and then what were the last two? Green cube and green... I think it's a green hexagon. Yeah, oh, it's the green blob, okay. What is that? Hmm, I don't know. So it seems to show things, but he doesn't comment on all of them. So I wonder if now, uh, oh god, which one was it? Tomb, that was it. So he said something about the tomb, didn't he? Was it the tomb? Uh, it was down this way, I think, wasn't it? So he made it sound like something happened here, or it showed something here. Was this always like this? Now we've got some decent lighting. Right, so we've got this, haven't we, where we can So that does something here. There's a shutter. Hmm. Hmm. Loose stone. This stone is some sort of trigger. What the hell does it do though? It opens that up. Yeah, it opens whatever that is. There's light seeping through from outside. But why? Why do we want the light to come in from There's outside? Light seeping through from outside. Can we use anything that we just picked up on this thing? I can't use these two things together. No. It won't accomplish anything. No, okay. Um, did we try the tablet thing? It won't accomplish anything. Right. I feel like this might be something where we've got to use an item on it. Uh, we've got to use something to weigh it down, right? Because it, it's, it's weight is triggered by weight. So, do we have anything heavy we can use on it? Wait, what? There's a signal here, but I'm not getting a clear reading. It doesn't point in any direction. Right, so it seems like certain areas there's real interference on that thing. I don't suppose we can use the rib cage again. It won't do anything. No. This stone is some sort of trigger. Right, okay, so. Is it the trusty shovel? It won't do anything. No. Is it this rod? Doesn't look heavy enough. That should hold it. Really? Really? That rod was heavy enough to hold that down? Whoa. The stone is loose. Yeah, I know the it's stone loose. Is some sort of trigger. Why is he saying that as if we didn't know that? Should hold it. What's the purpose, though? Because hmm. there's the shutter. Hmm. 
I mean, what's that? Is that is that what we've just looked at? No, that's the tram. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm not really sure. Unless we open something up higher up, of course. By doing that. What was that? Is that just the... Oh, there's an engraving here. Hang on. What is this? I have no idea what any of this means. Is that a rocket? It's a bit like a rocket taking off or something. Uh, interesting. I didn't see that before. There's also some sort of weird, like, liquid dripping down here. Oh yeah, this is where the bat things are. But we need something bigger to get those, I think, don't we? Uh, this is where Brink is. I don't suppose that opened up anything up here where he is? It's just the relic. I honestly don't know what that did. Um, Brink. Can you talk about it at all? No. What's the deal with the relic then? This looks like some pretty badly deteriorated machinery. Hmm. Okay. Um, where else do we have that we haven't been? We need to find something for this. Where was that other area where we had... It was back... Oh god, I can't remember which... I mean, there's so many different areas to <laughs> to this place. Where's the one... What other ones do we have? We have Spire Museum... It wasn't Map, I don't think. Was it just Spire? Which one was Spire? Yeah, this one. Where was that room we had? It was through here, wasn't it? Can we take this now? The pole with the hook is balanced on that pivot. I guess not. Can we take the pin? The pin fits tightly in the hole. No. Anyway, the reason I came back here is because, to me, this feels like there's something unsolved here as well. Because we've got this faint light and this button that doesn't do anything. Uh, so, this is where we picked up those scepter -y things, wasn't it? Hmm. He says, hmm, a lot. Doesn't he? Have you noticed he says, hmm, a lot? Hmm. Can we do anything with that? Does this correspond to with this? Won't do anything. Does this give us a clue? It's pointing behind me. It's probably pointing to the critter still, right? Uh, I don't suppose these work on this. They do. Whoa! What is this? Ooh! Whoa! Uh, use S what? Large moon, small moon, planet. Huh. Wait, okay. Hang on. So this is moving this small moon around. Where do we need to get it to go? Does this thing work These then? These are similar, but they don't seem to fit together. Okay. Does this do the same thing? Ooh! What the hell is happening now? Oh, this moves. 
Wait, this... So this moves both of them? Does this move both of them as well? No, this only moves that one. Okay, um, so we've got a position. It's the ceiling of the dome. It's a depiction of the largest moon of this planet. It's a representation of the smallest moon of this planet. Yeah, I know that. But it depicts a planet and its moons. It depicts a planet okay. and its moons. Wasn't there something? How do we come out of this? Wasn't there something in the museum about moon? Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Wasn't there something in the museum about moons? Do I remember that right? Did one of the displays say something about moons? I don't know. I might be getting it wrong, but I'm sure there was something about moons on there. I'll go and have a look anyway. Uh, where's the light bridge? There we go. It's a lot more convenient using the, the light bridge, isn't it, to get around. Um, museum spire. There we go. Okay, let's go into the museum. Uh, the question is, if there was, which one is it? <laughs> I'm going to have to systematically try them all, I think. Which isn't a problem, of course. Right, it's not that one, I don't think. I think that's the one that shows about... Yeah, that was the one where they were sort of... What did they do? Did they control them to do this? Is that what that's trying to show? I don't know. Um, I'm sure there was something in here about moons. I'm sure of it. It was quite a while ago now, so... And there was one about a tree as well, which I wondered if that was something to do with that tree outside the tomb. Yes, there we go. Right, there's the moons. A big moon and a small moon. And there's the tree thing that I was talking about. The larger moon is being eclipsed by the smaller one. Right, the larger moon is being eclipsed by the smaller one. The larger moon is being eclipsed by the smaller one. So does that... Let's see it again. moon is being eclipsed by the smaller one. Right, it doesn't have anything else to say about it, just that the larger moon is being eclipsed by the smaller one. So, let's head back. Is there a way we can make the smaller moon eclipse the larger moon in that place? Oh, it's called Planetarium Spire now. It was called just Spire a minute ago. Oh, I guess because we've... Right, it's, it's probably... I'm, I'm assuming because... We've activated the planetarium in there. <laughs> so now we know that it's actually called the planetarium spire. Because obviously this wasn't powered up in here before, was it? So. The larger moon is being eclipsed. It planet and its moon. Right, so there's actually a Perhaps sun. It's this planet. It depicts a planet and its moons. Perhaps it's this planet. Do we have to use the thing on it again? Right, yeah. So the sun... I'm guessing it's over here then, because this is lit up, and you could see it outside, so... Yes, okay, so... Have we got to get it so that the... Let's see, can we get it so that... 
the smaller moon eclipses the larger moon. Uh, like that, and then do we use the this one to do that? Is that it? Or is that one eclipsing that one at the moment? Uh, okay. Maybe it wasn't in the right place. I'm sure if, if the small one's eclipsing the large one. Does that mean... That to me would suggest that the small one's got to be inside the big one. But I might be wrong. Or if we got it in slightly the wrong position because of where the <coughs> light is on there? Or is it... It's difficult to know exactly where the placement's got to be. Um... It's I... the ceiling of the dome. I, I think I'm in... It's a depiction of the largest moon of this planet. I think I'm in the right place. Is it? Is it like that? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. It depicts a planet and its moons. Um, okay then. <clears throat> well, I thought that was probably what we needed to do, but maybe it isn't. Or maybe we've got just got it in the wrong positions. So, oh, hang on. Or do they not move? Do they just stay there all the time? Maybe it's actually that this stays static and wherever you put these on the, the actual map, it doesn't affect the outcome. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll try that again in the next one because we're out of time. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.